We are at Tarpon Point, and we're in the parking garage right now. We're getting ready to go to Pinchers. It is May 11th, I believe it is, 2023. May 12th, okay. You can see the Kalusahatchee out there. We had to park in the parking garage because all these spots over here were full, which does not happen very often, but this time it did. It's lunchtime. Yeah, it's lunchtime. Something just oh, yeah, something look at all the fish there. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And there's, is that fish that's striped underneath there? Yeah, that is or fish. Is that yeah. yeah, that's definitely fish. They're just kind of in one spot. Wow, nice. Yeah. Oh, there's fish. There's one right in here. Oh, right right oh yeah. Huh. How cool. Yeah. Oh, here comes a good size one right oh, through yeah. here. Boy, they're fast. Yeah. They switch directions quickly, too. Don't have any clue what it was, but... No, and I can't tell if... It, is that stuff in the water, or is it just uh, stuff on the ground? I don't know, I can't tell. Yeah. I'm assuming it's a rock, because yeah, those, those don't seem to be moving too no, much. No. Okay, very cool. Stokes Marine seems to have done Lady Susan. Is it 350 the, uh, CBR. Farm of Lady for Boat. Lazy Susan. I wonder if Stokes Marine has an agreement with these guys. Because every single one of these lifts has Stokes Marine on it. Yeah. It's about time. Sea Ray 400. Chicago. Yeah, that's a pretty nice looking boat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's got that uh, Husky, it's got Husky. the same floor in there. Mm -hmm. It's just a slightly different design. It's 
field here. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a little walk down here. Yeah, that's a that's a long boat. Yeah, it's a big boat. Yeah. Oh, wow. Man, now this is a whip. Gee whiz. Make no mistake, that thing oh, look, it's not straight is way up in the air. I'm going to hold, if I hold the camera up as far as I can reach, I don't think I can probably see much there. Impressive, so yeah. they're not messing around. No. No, they, uh, they could not get that thing a whole lot higher. You know, that would actually pass the hurricane, judging by how far he got in the restaurant. I think it would have made it. Yeah. <laughs> That's the kicker, though, you know, whenever the water gets 10 feet deeper. Well, these are, look how tiny. Uh, you know, the boats are not attached to the lifts. They're yeah. literally just sitting on them. Yeah. So if the water gets deep enough, everything's just going to float right off. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, these are the formulas that model or the brand name on the CBRs. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the cup holders on the swim platforms. That's cute. Most of these have the radars too. No, but this one also looks like an older boat. Like it, it doesn't look like it's on, you know, it's by the pond. Thing. Yeah, it's definitely not new. The thing of it is though, is as the boats get older, or as the boat get, boats get longer, you see older boats because they're just more valuable. Look, there's a big one on the back. Let's, uh, yeah. You can see that big one right there? There's a big sheep head and there's another mullet. There's a bunch of the sheep head. I think we just figured out what the, the strike are called. So I think they're sheep heads. So we've learned that. Not the bullet? Yeah. yeah. I don't, but I saw this, the, the father was pointing out a, a striped fish to the sun back here, and they said sheep head, so that's kind of what I'm going on. Okay. I don't know why it's called that. The head actually looks like a sheep. Which way? Um, let's go this way, let's go up and let's walk along the... Up or just walk along? Just walk along the front down here and then we'll go up at the other end. Southwest Florida Yachts, Florida Sailing and Cruising School, and the Yacht Chandler. Silver King Shuttle Boat. And just like that, been a trip around Tarpon Point.